I'm going to apologise right away for the dog barking and for the uh, wind. But I really must show you a few things. If we go down here, you'll see that my Crocosmia bank is out. I don't like Crocosmia, but I keep it here because it's quite a steep slope down there. I don't want it to collapse. So, and the Crocosmia bulbs hold it all together. You can see that my trees fruit tree is doing well. This fruit tree is now in danger <laughs> of having to be staked because it's beginning to wane. And this one is going all well. It's coming a bit close, isn't it, to the uh, to the path down here. So I might have to stake these or in some way sort of staple them to the to the side there particularly as the autumn winds across here I mean this is too flimsy it will snap that like a reed but that's not what I wanted to show you I've got my uh, a jugger here uh, self-seeded and you can see where it's the the first flowers have died off but looky looky down here that is a second harvest well, it's second flowering, which is unusual in a jugger, so there we are. What I wanted to show you is down here. And all the way across there, and all the way around there. Uh, I don't know if I can give you a uh, perspective on this thing, but it is huge. There are two of them. Uh, one of them didn't take. One's in, in, in that end there, that grow bag, and it's going along that way there the other one is is here and it's coming across and if we look if I can get close to it you can start to see where the flowers now that behind is the fruit and I'm thinking this is a pumpkin plant that is a miniature pumpkin there's another one sort of around there there's another one over there so we're waiting to see what happens with them. Here's a little taster though of, of what I think is to come. I didn't grow squash so I know it's not a squash therefore it must be a pumpkin. Now something has eaten, not the end, but has eaten the flower off the end there. I'm hoping that doesn't come back and finish it off. That appears to be the only one I can see that's doing well. You can tell that it hasn't actually finished flowering this yet um, and it's gone all over the place and what we have here those are like little curly whirly bits and what they do is they attach themselves to other plants if we look along here this is where it's attached itself to a weed you see and it's just it's impossible you have to break it off but that's how it moves it was basically oh, clinging to different plants and dragging itself in certain ways you can see where it's been over here as well see wrapping itself around my lovely lamp if we move over here you could whoops <laughs> you can see this this is a tomato plant believe it or not I didn't know that it was a tomato plant but it is a tomato plant I can smell it and I do have a few flowers we're very very late in the season very late in the season but those are going to be tomatoes if they end up ripening over here are my potatoes and they are beginning to die they're going that funny yellow colour the annoying thing for me is I haven't seen them flower which is a concern it is a concern there we are I've left that because that is my uh, little climber, which isn't doing too badly, not at all. Olive tree, and up here is the uh, pussy willow. Um, this is the tit tree that's gone back into full growth. Uh, thankfully, it's not too hard to snap off the the little things that are coming out here. Um, because you know that I cut this back and every two years I cut it right back to where you can see the stalks at the base 
it shoots up, absolutely shoots up, and it ends up, you know, I don't want it to block out the sunlight for my, uh, for uh, the pussy willow there. Now, carrying along, I've got courgette plants over the other side. Don't know if this one's a courgette plant or not, but whatever it is, it's it's on the move over here. Be at the wall before it's finished. No, what I want to show you is this. This is my courgette plant, for absolutely sure. Do you know how I know? Well, if we take a look down there, what do we see? There is it. Oh, there it is. That. That's my courgette. You see, I don't know if I'll get any more. That one looks like it could end up being a courgette if it grows. Uh, but this is certainly one. That's 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 the only one that seems to have actually grown. I can't see any more. We've got a very large huntsman somewhere around here. I don't know if you can see him or not. Can you? Well, there is a large huntsman around there somewhere, which I don't mind. Uh, so I'm looking, but I can't see anything else that looks... This one comes and goes. Basically, there's a few in the same pot, and they're not all doing well. This one is dying off, and it's because it's in such cramped conditions. But look at the beautiful flowers on that. Gorgeous. So anyway, I... I sort of need to pick this now, because this is as big as it's going to get, I think. But I don't want to damage it too much. So I'm just going to see if I can tug it. Or if it has to... Oh no, gosh, it's got a quite a thick stem at the bottom there. That's, that's going to have to be a push down, I think. To snap it off. There we are. That's not, that's not, there we are, that's done it. Oop! Et voila! That is a decent sized courgette. Actually, that's very decent. Yes, very decent and, and in good condition. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, really. I suppose I better eat it, but. Marvellous, marvellous. The plantation, as you know, is, is only here for this year. It's not permanent. I'm getting rid of it because of the, uh, the allotment. The allotment will become the plantation. Um, at the uh, end of the year so I haven't put a lot of work into attending this really and it has gone really to pot um, you know I've not looked after anything this has all just grown itself uh, and uh, whatever I get out of this is sort of what I deserve really for, for neglecting it a little but um, I'm not I'm not not bad with that not not upset with that at all we've had radishes uh, they've been and gone we've had basil that's been and gone. That went and fought, that bolted horribly uh, in the very, very hot weather. Uh, so I got rid of that. Uh, we've had a courgette. Looks like we're going to end up down there with uh, a pumpkin, maybe. Uh, we've possibly got some tomatoes on the way. Um, and of course there's the potatoes and, and whatever else comes off these courgette flowers or, or whatever. On the other side... These are my fruit bushes at the bottom. That's a red currant and it's not doing well and I don't know why. Um, and then that's my gooseberry bush. If you can see amid the weeds, really. Yeah, that's the gooseberry bush. That's very prickly. No fruit on it. It's not supposed to have fruit this year, but it might have fruit next year at the rate it's growing. So, that's about it, I think. <laughs>